let it be known that Sharp Balloons is pro pie. All kinds of pie. All the pies. I want them. Hello! How are you? It's National Peanut Butter Day! Toledo Life. And here I am without my jar! <laughs> Cake partisans be gone! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Whirleth. How are you doing? Silent elegance. What a, an elegant greeting as always. Thank you so much. Pinky, hi, hi. Oh, boop, peanut. Hi, boop to you as well. RC, you're making cookies right now. Are they peanut butter cookies? It's okay if they're not. I just found out it was peanut butter day too. Hello to Ijo Pui, or is it Pai? Are you like double Pai? Pai? One hello, hello. And I had another first time chatter as well. But Vanilla Team Pai, or is it But TV Vanilla Team Pai? Either way, hello, you're well. Ah, oh, Toledo Life! Thank you for the love! Hello, wow! Look at, oh, oh Mr. Shark. I don't know if I. You know what? This is unsanitary. Uh, it's I just just a tiny bit. Why did I give you a jar? I because you thought it would be funny. I thought it'd be funny. I regret it. I regret everything. Pole is active. Thank you, Flava. Oh, Mr. Sharp, bringing me a cup of tea. Actually, not coffee like usual. Oh, they, welcome, Toledo. Yes, yes. Let's go, Piranha Plant. Hello, Susie Cusies. You want you want Piranha Plant to win? I didn't even see the poll. Uh, but you should definitely vote, friends. Make your voice heard. What balloon am I gonna spend all my time on? Guess what? Guess what? Hey, oh, Lauren Slayer's here, Lauren. Are you check it out. a one balloon stream? What? Yes, here, I'm even gonna do this. It's like it's really lighting. There it is. Boom, chicka boom. Mr. Sharp is on mic. Uh, yeah, I have my own sign. Not a big deal. Very pro, very pro streamer, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, peanuts is high, Mr. Sharp. Lauren, thank yeah. you so much. Lauren Poggers Slayer. Indeed. Lauren Poggers, indeed. Indeed, indubitably. Uh, Lauren was the one who showed me how to do that and also, you know, made all of this amazing stuff. No, Lauren, it is you who is poggers. <laughs> oh, sweet fat! I'm in class, I don't know what's going on. Hi, sweet, sweet fat! Thank you! Thank you for two months of, of, of support with your Prime subscription. Wait, sweet fat, you don't know what's going on in our stream or you don't know what's going on in your class? You know what? Maybe neither. Maybe neither. Fair <gasps> I'm enough. the peanut! Thank you for the bits. Oh, what? More oh, bird. You finished not. episode, uh, first episode of three out of ten. I, Lauren, I didn't even know that you worked on that. I was a, in Morbert's stream, and he mentioned that he heard that you worked on the art on that game. He started playing; it seemed really fun. And then Porter woke up, and I had to I had to pop a lurk. But you, ah, sweet fat, hi, hi. I don't know how to S W E E T F A T F F A T. I'm not good at the finger spelling, good friends. Hello, Amy. Hi, thank you for the bits. Oh, I, I appreciate you all so much. Hey, Nipsu, how's it going? Nipsu. The poll is Nipsu, counting down. Russell. Counting down. Speaking of counting down, I'm that peanut 25 bits. 24 oh, bits. <sighs> Mr. Sharp's doing great, Morbert. Thanks for asking. How, oh, actually, I don't know. I want to answer for you, babe. How you doing? Okay. I mean, yeah. What'd, what'd you say? Pretty good? Pretty good. Yeah, that's about right. All right. <laughs> Ryoki just gifted a sub to Nipsu. Ryoki. Ryoki, thank you. You're incredible. Hello, Mr. Tree Beast. I realize I've been saying Tree Best, I think. That's, that's... Was it Tree Best and then it got changed to Tree Beast? <sighs> I want to say I, I want to I want to say it's my mistake because I feel like that's when in doubt when it's like maybe it's Shayna's mistake maybe it's definitely Shayna's mistake. Uh, Amy nineteen ninety nine Momo wants to know if there's a way to watch a clip of the popping balloon. Uh, one in particular. Which which, which, which one? popping balloon? I mean there 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 are, <laughs> and I don't remember which ones they are at. I should know. I should Sweet know. Sweet Fat is supposed to be doing a test. The reading goldfish. Nice. Well, you passed the goldfish test, sweet fat. I trust Hyper -potato. your ability to monitor your time. Different account. Different account. What? 
What? So is a tree best and a tree beast? Because that would that would be cool. Also, tree beasts are just birds, right? Ryoki, you are so amazing. You are incredible. 126. Thank you, Ryoki. Thank you, thank you. Amy's not picky. You just want to see a clip of a popping balloon. There must be one somewhere. I yeah, I believe there there is it's one of the cheer uh, uh, alerts, but I don't remember. Uh, Sweet fat forgot how to do haikus. Oh, it's fine. It's five syllables, seven syllables, and five syllables, and we're making a haiku right now, based on the prompt of pie. Oh wait, is it pie? Pie. Pie. Hang on, let me change the haiku music. Haikusic. When I heard that, I was like, oh, is today Pi Day? I'm like, no, that's March. No, but I, I was just talking about this actually pre-stream live. Mm -hmm. uh, it was National Pi, P-I-E Day on the 23rd of January, so yeah, yesterday. We didn't, and we didn't celebrate. We didn't even eat a pie. With any pie. Oh, my gosh. My goodness. Piranha plant it is. Haiku. Haiku, good friends. Tree beast is what plants call vegetarians. I see. How dare morbid, you, tree morbid, beast? Morbid, not mind so is this Feed Me Seymour or Mario Bros? I feel I like it's, it's got to be Brothers. Mario Brothers. I believe the piranha plant is specifically what they call the Mario Brothers um, little pipe. Munchers. Yeah, the, uh, the the Feed Me Seymour would be Audrey 2. Yeah, I think we've actually made Audrey 2 before. I think we before. have, yeah. And I've made a piranha plant for, <laughs> for, um, for Mario party decor, but I haven't made one on, uh, on stream. Oh, babe, do you need food? Must be human. What do you want to be Must love? be fresh. Ooh, Mr. Sharp's got a voiceover. Next chapter in the oven drama. Oh, oven drama, I love it. They finally ordered a new oven that is due to be installed tomorrow. Well, today, the only working oven decided to burst into flames. Are you kidding? So it wasn't Cupcake's fault. They just, like, spontaneously After combust. getting the fire out, upon Cupcake's inspection, the cleaning crew again has not been cleaning it and the exhaust fan was clogged with greasy goop. Oh my gosh. Until it, tomorrow they have no working ovens. That's... Flava, how is this cleaning crew still employed? Right? You burn up one oven, maybe I forgive you, maybe yeah, I don't. Yeah, burn one oven. Shame on you. But after oven you. number two, I'm probably burning down the cleaning building, right? <laughs> you, you can still work for us, but I get to burn down your building, fair? <laughs> Pino wants to know if a fight between two vegans is still called a beef. Uh, it's actually called a, a beef, B-E-Y-F. Wait, okay, here we go. Beef. More of a tough. 3.14. Shoot, shoot. It scrolled. It scrolled. Uh, 3.1415. Wait. 3.1415926535889 and so on. Beautiful pie haiku, Morbert. I love it. It's a whole new crew. The other crew were all fired. Well, that's off to a good start, but I think it's time to hire a new it cleaning company that tells the crew yeah. what they're supposed to this do. Is, this is what's supposed like, to happen. Like at this point, I feel bad for that first crew because I'm thinking they're just not getting good information. Right? It starts at the top. Okay, okay. Let's see here. What if I do? Hmm. So the inherent uh, difficulty in making this uh, balloon is that it's it's like a round thing, but it has a mouth. Mm. So like a round thing, right. easy. An open round yes. thing, Harder, mm. but I look. Mm. I'm up to the challenge. No, she probably can't do it. Whoa! I don't think she can do it. I think good training is in order for sure. For sure. Amy, crew number three may be better. <laughs> How many ovens is too many ovens burst into flames? I want to say one. I want to say one also. I that say was one. the number that came into my head. Oven on fire equals bad. Thank you for that math, uh, Peanut. A uh, hydrate, Justano. Let's like hydrate. One, let's stop drinking tea. Let's drink water. One is Thank you, Justano, too many, Maya. but maybe forgivable. After that, my forgiveness is out. Like, don't you tell the new crew, hey, we had a problem with the last crew where they set the other oven on fire, so, yeah, so we don't really, really want to make sure we are making a piranha plant. Hmm. Oh, there I don't know what's in there until I get there. <laughs> That's it's because it's spontaneous, babe. It's supposed to. It's true. It's truly you, um, Mr. Sharp. Can you see if there are any red six-inch quick links? Yes. How many air Thank fryers you. is too many air fryers? I have seven in my kitchen. 
<laughs> My job is dumb. That's a lot of air fryers. Wait, what? You have seven air fryers, Muted Star? I thought you were a filmmaker. What? What is the job that requires seven air fryers? That's very cool. Uh, Toledo Life Community Pun Run. Why did Adele cross the road to say hello from the other side? I love it. Uh, yes, red six-inch quick links. Um, I, I, I mean, like, do you want more like cross the road puns? Because I, I'm on board for that. <laughs> Worlet CEO uh, has. Uh, uh, I, why do I always say CEO? CEOS. CEOS. Wordless. I mean, it's just wordless, right? Uh, uh, we need. Oh, it, oh my goodness. So many things. Okay, hang on. We have a community haiku on Pi. We have a summon Iggy from Nip Sue. Uh, we have a community pun run. Light of the Dell across the road. And a voiceover from Wordless. I've never set my oven on fire in Average Joe. There may be, yeah, yeah. There, it would be in that area, but I'm gonna kind of also look around because I think maybe there were some red six-inch six inch quick links. If not, ooh, okay. I would also take um, a red 12-inch quick link if I could find two of them. And if not, if not, then we'll 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 um, we'll manipulate a a red five-inch round. Happy Monday, my catastrophe. More for top one set of pie on fire. I think that is how you're supposed to celebrate that holiday. Oven's on fire. This oven's on fire. Yes, peanuts. I I'm not much it. of a cook, but if you don't set it on fire, that's just raw, right? <laughs> uh, you know, there's a way to cook it it's without raw. setting it it's on fire. Uh, and a speed dog from Silent Elegance named It's a Me, Mario. My goodness, there's a lot going on, on right some now. Fire. There's a lot going on right now. A bit of fire. This pie's kind of on fire. Like I said, I don't know how to cook, but that's my understanding. Oh, thank you for shouting out Muted Star. A retro mess. Beautiful. You know what? Modern messes are overrated. Muted Star, I think so. Marta Calendar apple crumb pie is not designed to be put under the broiler to crispy it up. Oh, Marie Calendar? Either way. Probably not. Uh, okay, so Mr. Sharp. Yeah. Can you do the voiceover for Wurlith mm -hmm. and then summon Iggy? Uh, yeah, so There's I'm, a lot I'm giving going up, on, here, giving up on the Q links. We're, oh, no, I think the, 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 the 12 inch ones the are 12s great. Are okay. The 12s are, are perfect. You got it. RC enjoys this conversation given that he is currently setting cookies on fire or baking them. That is far too many air fryers. Thank you, Wurlith, for saying, for having Mr. Sharp say what was on all of our minds. Muted Star. Look, that's, that's me speaking for Wurlis, speaking for myself. I think you need four more air fryers. Whoa! 11 air fryers is, is the right amount. Conservatively. <laughs> you heard it here first. The crazy part, it totally caramelized and tasted like s'mores. That's what I'm saying. Set it on fire. Things on fire. Not bad. Okay. He's going to get Iggy, so I'm going to... Hang on. I can do this. Turn off his sign. Wait. It wouldn't be shining on me. <laughs> Okay, RC, you have zero air fryers. Oh, I just think that's not nearly enough, right? Uh, I love Uncle Scar loves her air fryer. Had it forever, just started using it. It's been a lifesaver. I just, um, I gave my air fryer to my mom. Because I mentioned on stream that I had one that I never used. And she was watching that stream and she like called me up and she's like, well, give it to me then. That's exactly what she sounds like. Thank you. Hang on, I'm going to change the music here. Back to the, okay. Igum, fat bigum. Hi, big boy. Did you want to say hello to your fans? Oh, yes, here he is, everyone. Iggy the biggie boy. Oh, look at that biggie boy. Look how much cat there is. So much cat. The chuggy one, yeah. Iggy. Uh, Uncle Scar says, I love my air fryer. I've had it forever and just started using it. It's been a lifesaver. Look, I, I get it. That's what everybody says. It was actually a gift from my dear friend, Jorge. Mm -hmm. I feel bad because <laughs> he gave me this beautiful air fryer and I just never used it. Silent Elegance, it yes. Got an air fryer two Christmases ago. Still haven't used it yet. Give it to your mother. Silent, that's about, <laughs> that's about when Give we got Give it to ours. your mother. That's what we did. Pretty close to when we got Oh, ours. the biggest It was a boy. birthday gift, not a Christmas. He's so sweet. Still. Toledo, I'll pet him for you. He likes to pet. Rita loves her air fryer, but you're also a cook. You're a cook. Also, how's your little puppy doing? 
Oh. And he says, sweet big boy, so the boy much, is loved. So much love of cat. Everybody loves a pig. I love air fryer, but also a sucker for snacky snacks. Oh, same. Rita says, I make the best puff pastries with it. Uh, to that, I say, prove it. <laughs> Send us some We puff refuse pastries. to believe until we receive puff pastries. Did California things and had in and out for lunch. <laughs> Legal California things. Well, Uncle a fine Scar. combination. I love Uncle Scar. A fine combination indeed. Black cat and a Siamese on you right now. Oh, that's sounds Cooney nice. Bed is saying hello to Chunkers and all. Go to their Hi. job. Nice to see you. Enjoy okay. your job, Cooney Bed. Have a good job day. Oh, I Have should a good turn job. your sign on again. Cooney Bed, do a good job. Do a good job. A good job to you, sir. Good job. Iggy, good job. You did a good job. Oh, you want to come down? You can come down. I don't mean to put you up here if you want to come down. Oof, duh. Silence says, Iggy makes me want to annoy poker with more affection. Oh, yeah, no yeah that's that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. There it is. Mr. Sharp's on. Love them until they accept it. Yes. That's what, that's my trick with, with uh, Iggy. Poor Iggy. Flavor says, we did that with a sweet potato pie. We had marshmallows on the top, and they caught fire in the oven. They were roasty and delicious. Marshmallows is one of your top foods to set on fire, I would say. Toledo Life, I want to say Iggy weighs about, what did we say, 23 pounds? We're saying 23 pounds, I think. Uh, 23, 24, something like yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. She supports that legal California thing, but in and out is her legal California thing. And I, I, I got it. I get what you're saying. Mr. Sharp, another voiceover from, uh, from uh, I'm that peanut. It's talking to us, Mary. The tree is talking. Tree? I am no tree. I am an ant. And whose side are you on? Side? I am on nobody's side because nobody is on my side. No one cares for the woods anymore. We're not orcs, we're hobbits. Hobbits? Never heard of a hobbit before. Sounds like orc mischief to me. They come with fire. Fire! They come with axes, gnawing, biting, breaking, hacking, burning. Burning. Burning pies. They come with ovens. Cooking All right. s'mores. Silent Elegance, this is for you. It is a speed dog name. It's a me, Mario. He's a chubby one and he's red. Here we go. In three, two, one, go, go, go. Why are aircraft are super expensive? You're just now learning that? Unexpected eating? Two bolts and they were 450. My gracious. But they're probably really good bolts. They're really, and here's the thing. I feel like with we'll aircraft, you don't want to uh, to go cheap. Mm. You don't really want to go cheap on aircraft. There it is. I can see is. the wisdom in that. Hey, it's a me, a Mario. My father makes garlic bread. My mother makes fried catfish. <laughs> the way you know that they're done is the fire alarm goes off. <laughs> that is, that's one way RC, to know. That's like a nice, that's like a nice little poem almost, you know? <laughs> Morbid like realizes three, he's three adopted parts. nth levels of cynicism. I like that. 17.8. I kind of took it easy on Muted that one, Star I says, say. I have a ninja air fryer. I think that's the kind we gave it is. to your mom. That's the one. Uh, it's like a toaster oven with a full sheet pan, and it flips it's up against the, the wall to not take up counter space. Ours did Whoa. not do that. I use it more than my actual oven, but Phillips says, uh, but Phillips pays me to do recipes for their basket-style air fryers, and I hate them. Take up too much space and not easy to use. The ninja mm. that we had is actually not, I mean, it's called the Ninja Foodie, F-O-O-D-I. And I think it's a combination air fryer and pressure cooker. And so it basically takes up as much room as like a jumbo rice cooker on the counter. And that is my mom's one big complaint with it because of course my mother would find something to complain about. She's my mother, where do you think I get it well, from? Well, all right, thank you for giving a free air fryer, but it's too big. Cupcake, you definitely, Couldn't you give you me a smaller free air fryer? <laughs> Cupcake, are you gonna play Curse oh, of is the Elder Gods? Oh, um, is there, a, is there the big uh, Mario over there, Mr. Sharp? Can you toss the Mario dog back over to me? You're right, you're right, Peanut. I'm gonna do it on the side here. Morbid says, I bought into the hype of the Instant Pots, only to learn it's a pressure cooker. And also, not instant. Not instant It's a misnomer, at all. it's a misnomer. Um, it's a him, a Mario. Okay, there. Next week, Ying says, they are certified aircraft parts, could've gotten the same bolts at a hardware store for 50 cents each. But, but wouldn't you always wonder? Wouldn't you always wonder? Oh, is there something wrong? Ooh, are these ones airproof? I don't know what airproof. Ooh, is it airproof? 
The foodie pressure cooker thing is the size of a doghouse. Thank you, Muted Star. You exactly. understand. You understand. So we gave it to my mom. So. Cupcake is playing Octopath Traveler. Interesting. I have never heard of such a thing. This free gift is too large. Exactly, Average Joe. And also, it's too expensive. Okay, if I were to do. Let's see here. Smokey Crab says, I saw the stream notification on the Discord like 22 minutes ago, but I didn't click on the link. Oh, why? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We're still here, and we've just literally blown up the first balloon for the first request, so you're perfect timing, Moki. What we're talking, exactly. So about this horse you gave me. <laughs> Will he we need, braces? need braces? That is hilarious, Morbert. How good are his teeth? I love it. I love it. Look, it's fine. It's fine. She might even be watching now. If she, if you are, Mom, I love you. We're just we're just roasting you for fun. We're, we're air just, frying you. I was about to say. Yeah. I'm a play Octo Dad. Wait, what? Is that a game? I think that's a joke off of uh, oh. the Octopath game that Cupcake is gotcha. playing. I gotcha. I'm They're that just... peanut. Fifty-five. What? Just gifted a sub to Starful. Wait, not muted Star. <laughs> I love. Aw, it is a real game. <gasps> Octo Dad is a game though. What? And then there's John and Kate plus eight, but that's totally different. That's that's no game, friends. That's those are that's some children's lives. Uh, wow. Thank you, Peanut. Thank you. Oh, wait, and an Octo Mom. That was another one of those. Yeah, Starful and Muted Star stream together and also separately. I, you know, and I like it. That's nice. That's nice. They like that. Uh, okay, so. Oh my gosh. Where did all this cat hair come from? <laughs> Probably our cat. Probably like my shirt, and right. then then I hug the balloon. That is that is a thing with cat. cats. People are like, hug the balloon. do cats pop the balloons? No, but they do shed. You fuzz them up real good. Oh, from all that cat I was holding. Starfold, yay! Look at you! Look at you with your balloons! So cool! Hi, Starfold. You should you should check out Starfold. Amazing Sims streamer. Uh oh oh. Starfold waiting in the sky. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be basically the base of my uh, piranha plant. I'll do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling. Lacey. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Are you feeling it? I'm not penis. I love Starfold, but I'm completely biased. Fair enough. Fair. You well, you're a, you're you are also a simmer. I would Is also that say that you call sim sim sims players. You're biased toward everything you love. That's right? true. That's, <laughs> that is tis the nature like the of nature, love yeah. and biases. We need to start true story. I've written eight pressure cooker cookbooks starting 15 years ago. The instant pot annoyed me so much; it's just a pressure cooker. Whoa, muted You've written star! Eight pressure cooker cookbooks. Okay, first of all, while we have you on wow. stream, in in the chat, where can we watch? Oh, what was it? Midnight after midnight. That's the movie that you that you uh, worked on. Cinematographer, I want to say. Yeah, we're gonna let it all hang out. Yeah, after midnight. Uh, we also, let it all hang. Oh my gosh! I have puppets. What? Muted star is here. And I have puppets. Peanut has Starfold. never missed a stream of stars, not one. Wow. <gasps> uh, Muted Whoa. Star, if you want to link to any of your cookbooks, you're more than welcome to whisper that Please to me do. and I'll throw it in the chat. If you'd rather not, absolutely okay, okay as well. So, Mocha Rose, what's up? We're, um, hey, Rose, you're not late. You're not late at all. Okay, so this is like a total uh, ADHD distraction moment, but that's why you're here, right? Um, I, we're, we're unpacking a bunch of stuff from storage, and I found, well, actually, Porter found and made me play with these dinosaur uh, puppets okay, that I made. Pull that guy out. Uh, forever uh, man, ago. Man, he loves this little guy. Well, he oh, does. The first, I'm going to do the grown, the, the adult. This is the first dinosaur puppet that I made. What? Look at this thing! Rah, rah. Yes, it is a little uh, real. <laughs> <laughs> looking we did a um god when was this this is so long ago remember i was talking about the dinotopia uh vacation bible school that i did work on i made this this is almost a prototype to convince the organizer that we should make dinosaur puppets i'm like no i can make it look really dope and uh, yeah this was the uh the prototype i i only started
was in one side of her head, the other side. She didn't ever get those. So we like had her face this way for the kids. She had like a neck at the time, but I only saved her face. I did have a neck at the time. She did have a neck. She did have a neck. And then here, I got to show the baby. This is what Porter really likes. Oh boy, does he like this guy. He loves this. He asks to talk to this baby all the time. Gives it little kisses. It's the cutest thing in the world. Oh, dear, dear. Muted Star, after midnight, I co-directed and filmed, but cookbooks is how I make my living. I photograph and ghostwrite them for companies and personalities. Done over 40 cookbooks. That's so cool, Muted Whoa. Star. That's ah, a so lot cute. of cookbooks. So cute. So cute. I don't think I've cooked 40 times. <laughs> I certainly haven't cooked 40 different recipes. That is incredible. I love that. You're true artist. Oh, thank you, Destato. I love is 18 pets too much? I mean, who's I'll tell to you, I'll that? tell you how many pets is too much. If you can't take care of them, it's too much. If you can take care of them, then you're doing good. That's exactly right. Mr. Sharp, exactly right. Thank you. Dinos are so cool. I know, Kundi Bad. Aren't dinos amazing? Yeah, yeah. But I have like a three year old who's now getting into dinosaurs, and so it's like kind of perfect that I get to have this little like baby dino to like play with him. Ah, it's the best. Oh, Gorilla says, also, I worked on my iron. It's getting better. Good job. Oh, wonderful. Good job taking care of yourself, Mocha Rose. Taking care of yourself, reading your human uh, manual. Black Sense, Mr. Sharp is actually sharp. Actually sharp. Turns out. To which we would say, don't, don't sound so surprised. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like. I, Sometimes I'm surprised. I'm like, wait, I knew a thing. Huh? I'm not, I'm not, I don't feel sick, but I do have sniffles today. Hopefully, Toddler Sharp doesn't like raptors. Uh, no, he's a Lakers fan. <laughs> oh, babe. Lon Buon. Lon Buon. Lon Buon James. Okay, so where were we? We were actually making a piranha. Dino planet. Sharp. Do, 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 do. Dino Sharp. The little do, puppet do, do, is do, do, do. too cute. It's not allowed. All right, sorry, you're not allowed. Oh. The, uh, the dino puppet has been disqualified. Sorry, Lauren's Lair has said it. He started his cookbooks mostly for appliance companies, so with Instapot, Philips, and a whole lot of QVC shopping channel brands. So I'm, I'm guessing That's as a... so cool! As a freelance writer uh, who oftentimes writes things for companies, I'm guessing you don't have, like, your name on a lot of these covers. It's like, Philips! Yeah. By Philips! Yeah, ghostwriting you mentioned, right? Yeah. That's like, but you know what you get? You get, you know what your name is on? The check. Me to start, uh, feel free really to uh, whisper me a link to any cookbooks that you would get the money for. Oh, so Peanut's asking if you would not recommend the Instant Pot Muted Star. What do you? What are your? What are your thoughts on it? Because I know you. You were annoyed because it was. It was just a pressure cooker. But you. You do appreciate. Yeah. The, also, uh, if if you do have like a favorite cooker or something you want to recommend, I can. I can uh, give them that link too. We're bad at cooking, friends. I'm not saying that we'll use it. I'm saying we'll send a link to all of our friends who might want to use it. <laughs> we have like. Three, I'm working friends. on my cookbook. Uh, right. It's called the uh, the Trader Joe's Manual, and it's all recipes using Trader Joe's foods. And the recipes are exactly the same things that are printed on the bags. Yeah, because yep. that's what I do. It's pretty much it. Every once in a while, I do I'll love add crock pots. Frozen peas. You just told a puppet that it's not allowed back. I mean, you know, that's what Lauren said. You have to be Sorry. firm with puppets, Monkey Craft. It's too cute. You can't let them walk all over you. It's too cute. <laughs> Oh, Peanut's looking for something new. That's why Peanut's asking. I almost never have my name on, my name on but amazingly, I did have my name as a co-author on one that was a New York Times bestseller. Which one? You can you can tell us. Tell us. Puppets don't walk. Boop. Hey, Nessie Blue, how you doing? I'm going to sneeze. Well, I, I would say, M Muted Craft, if you don't want to tell us, because it would be like your real name and you don't want to uh, dox yourself, absolutely fair. But we will certainly share, if you want to, your call. Muted Star. Flav said, I'd buy that, Mr. Sharp, if I ever went to Trader Joe's. Well, but Flava, the, the joke is that they have the instructions on the, right there on the oh, back. Oh, man. It's exactly the same. Hey, God. Bless you. I'm so sneezy. We've got like a allergy attack yeah, coming in. It's a little sniffly before the stream, and now I'm like just straight up sneezing, which is gross. Gross, sneezers. I'm always a multiple sneezer. Starbolt says, Instant Pot is a good product. Be careful with knockoffs for anything as always. Yeah, fair enough. Sure. I mean, knockoffs, sometimes you get pot. the exact same thing uh, for the exact <laughs> same price. I'll buy your 50-cent bolt from uh, the hardware store, and sometimes 
Your aircraft comes apart midair. I don't know. Depends on the product and the Bless the quality you, of the thank you, thank you. <laughs> I sometimes, I mean, if I push on my nose, maybe I won't sneeze. Sarah Hashbash. <gasps> Sarah, okay. Sarah Ashbash, thank you for the follow. Or like Sarah just, Ashbash. Right, if you're like Sarah you with an H. Sarah or Sarah. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. I don't care to share it because I don't make money off of it, and I don't even remember if the recipes are good. Totally fair. <laughs> you're like, no, 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 it was a New York Times bestseller, and it was awful. Well, if I, if I uh, understand, probably you are being paid a flat rate up top. Uh, or upon completion, and you're not necessarily getting a cut of sales. Uh, so, ghostwriting sure. tends to work, but not necessarily. Mocha Rose, sorry if I don't talk about super busy day. New outfits, new studio, new dance room. Nice! Whoa. That sounds exciting. Girl! Have fun. Get it. I'm so excited to see when, you, when, you're, when you're allowed to post the... Uh, your video. Oh, yeah, yeah, if you ever have like a, a dance or a video you want to share, absolutely. Uh, Starfold also dealing with allergies this oh, week. Oh, what is up with that? Starfold. Womp, womp. Don't like it. I don't like it. You know, and the other thing is it's like, of course, this day and age, like you sneeze and everyone's like. You sneezing, bro? Get the vid. Get the vid. Bro, don't sneeze on me. Get the vid. Better not and be like, sneezing around here, I've bro. I've not been leaving the house, so. Bad boy, how's it going? How's it Bad going? Bad boy, Balo. I always pinch the tip of my pinky that matches the side of my nose that tickles, and it stops the sneeze every what? time. What? what is this witchcraft flavor? I don't expect you eating, so I still believe the old saying that you buy the engine and you get the plane for free. <laughs> okay, so this is my... Uh... Why buy the cow when you can get the airplane for free? I mean, I'd rather have an airplane, I guess. Cows are nice and all. I mean, I'd rather I have really an airplane have if I can resell of it. Them. So, yeah, exactly. Probably get a better price on that. I, mean, I sold my cow. I just got a couple beans. <laughs> Salesman told they were magic, but I don't know. I don't know about that. Left nostril tickles pinch the left pinky tip. You can. Wow. What? But see, like, these sneezes are, they don't, they're not like nostril tickle sneezes. I feel like these ones are just straight up, like... I'm allergic to something. Well, gross, there's a lot of stuff happening. Also, I'll post when I can. My manager's super picky about it, which is adorable. Of course, of course. Part. Hey, look. Hey, you want a manager, a manager that's picky about this Right? Stuff. You don't want a manager that's like, put it all out there. Cause like, oh, we're just trying to get somebody to see it. Please. Um, babe. Yeah. Is there a no, probably not. mocha quick link? Uh, yeah, 12 inch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be awesome. That would be great-tastic. 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 Uh, okay, so it's going good. Just building a platform for an ocean over my my, my base in Minecraft. Ah, uh, nuts! Well, that's close though. I'll take it if we if it if it doesn't work. I'll take that one. Uh, also, can you call me bad? Of course, bad. No problem. I might forget. Considering the cost of an aircraft engine can reach the oh my gosh hundred thousand mark. That's a lot of money. Someone went to Chris Perillo's stream in Nate, Trader Joe's bag, and Chris wanted to know where the name came from. Turns out they had a joke with their friends that their bond is as strong as a Trader Joe's canvas bag. It's pretty strong. It's pretty strong, friends. Oh, good. Please do remind me. I've never played Minecraft. Oh, my gosh. Lauren posted in the uh, your games thread in our Discord this incredible Dracula castle that she made in Minecraft. Like, it's worth joining the Discord just to go look at that amazing piece of work. Lauren, you're, I mean, I already know that you're incredible and I already like, you didn't need to convince me anymore, but that was so, so freaking cool. Uh, yeah, go join the Discord if you want to make requests for balloons. Cause that's, I think toffee's the way we're going to go on this one, but thank you. Nice catch. I love you. You're handsome, but that's not why I love you. I love you cause you're a good man. And these people will never know. <laughs> It's true. I gotta hide no, no, your no, handsome just from how them. Handsome I am. I'm jealous. Okay. Uh, white. Is it gonna be the lips? Oh, they're actually pretty Starfold, big. Is it possible you're allergic to balloons? That would be tragic. Oh, that would be uh, awful. That, that would, be... would be bad. Latex allergies are certainly a thing. Latex allergies are a thing. They tend to present more as like a hives kind of a situation and less of a sneezing kind of a thing. Um, but yeah, I know a few balloon artists who've had to retire and/or change their career. Uh, trajectory because of developing latex sensitivity, which is a huge bummer and uh, haunts me at night. 
Moko Rose says, managers that are picky is better. He's not that strict, but not that mean. He cares a lot about us and our mental health. Plus, he got us a new studio and dance room. New studio. That is what? Cool. Moko, that is very cool. That is very cool. So cool. Okay, I'm going to say there to there. It's good. Nigel Shadow Ruth. Hey, Nigel. Thanks What's for up? the hug. I think that would knock the air out of Shayna. I mean, having a... Stop. No, seriously, Lauren. Like, I don't understand anything about Minecraft, but I understand how detailed that looked. And, like, there were even, like, lighting effects, I want to say. You are so cool. Oh, wait, the, the Minecraft stadium? Yeah, the um, Minecraft stadium. Ca- I showed... For, like, Lady Gaga or whatever, right? What? Wasn't it like a... No, it was a, it was a, a Dracula's castle. Oh, I showed okay. you, though. I showed you. So you saw Right, right. <laughs> and wasn't there some... They did like a Lady Gaga theater or arena like uh, a while ago. Am I right? Maybe. Am I, crazy? I don't. I don't remember that. I may be right. I may be crazy. That would be equivalent to you being allergic to Sims building. Exactly, Starfold. Unacceptable. Sorry, fate. Nope. Not taking that. Unexpected heating says the plane I own is up for annual inspection, so I was replacing some fuel components. Ah, uh, that is wise. <sighs> That's what kind of a plane do you own? Unexpected heating. Like that's 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 crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't want to own my own plane because then I would feel like I have to fly it. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to fly a plane. What do you? Ugh. I don't even want to drive a Mokey car Craft if I can has avoid a, it. Hey Siri. Ooh. Balloons are very pog. There you go. Uh, Mocha Rose. Uh, if I can one day post in the group one of my projects I'm doing for a dance, I'll do so. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, you're welcome to any time and no pressure Assessment to do it if it's, if it's uh, you know, something so you're not, not ready yet. So terrifying. I'm like, I'm like nervous just knowing that you have one. Not because I don't trust you, but just like. I don't trust planes. It's freaking me out. I trust gravity. What is uh, Pog Potato, and a brief, I, don't I just finished my. Uh, I just posted my finished small Zoidberg in the discussion. Art sharing. Peep if you want him. Small Zoidberg. Miss Potato, we were just talking about Zoidberg wanna today. Want to see? Do you not like road finished. trips? Then I mean, I look. I'm fine. It's been a while. I used to be okay with driving, and then it's been like two years of me being like a, a recluse because of a pandemic. So maybe I'm less so. And then I also had a son. And now every time I see like reckless drivers, I'm like, there are children out there. So like, I don't know. <laughs> Why not Zoidberg? PSA on behalf of Jen's Lens. Oh, yeah, sure. Please don't give your leftover open food at the bo- at the food bank. We just throw it away for you. Oh, no. Who, Do people drop over, drop off their leftovers? Who leftover open food? Oh, my goodness. That's people. not okay. Come on. Get it together. RC says I get anxiety with driving, so I don't. I think that is a absolutely reasonable thing to do. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's you know, you 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 do you, good friends. Don't be, don't make yourself uncomfortable. Don't let anyone pressure you into it if you're not feeling it. Bad built a giant Velociraptor skeleton in Minecraft a couple months ago. What? That does sound pretty cool. Starfold hasn't driven in a year. Wow. I mean, almost Starfold. I feel like I maybe like I drove. I drove to like get a COVID test once, and like there've been a few times where I've had to, but like for the most part, I've been driving back and forth getting stuff out of storage, and yeah. that's been like the only place that I've gone. I gotta admit, I mean, driving since, in Los Angeles made Wave you a started. better driver, Jenslens. Is that true? Interesting. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad there was a, an upside to that for you. Uh, thank you, folks, getting your words in for the mind meld. Uh, give Flava some choices. Oh yes. Hey, any hey, word, hey mind meld has like. been redeemed. It's insane how bad my driving anxiety has gotten, and I don't understand where that came from. But my flying anxiety, muted star. Ah! Mocha Rose is putting Damn. some uh, screenshots from a cowboy game she's playing in the in the yes, Discord. Do it. And uh, Bad posted the skeleton of the Velociraptor in the Discord as well. I love it. I so love get it. Thank in you. That Discord. Get in there. Bang. We're trying. Discord. We're trying to do more cool stuff with our Discord. You know, I'm slowly trying to get the hang of this whole what it is to be a streamer thing. And uh, I love, I love you all. I love so much that I have this awesome little community of folks that I've met and you all do such cool stuff. And I wanna, I wanna see it all, share it, 
share your your uh, your you, you know? Toledo Life, on the other hand, drives hundreds of miles every day. Hundreds! Because they deliver Amazon packages. Oh, well, that'll that'll do it. That's You'd, you'd cover some territory. That's, that's the... Uh, Toledo says, unfortunately, today, though, there's five inches of snow outside. So I'm staying safe at home. Holy Toledo! Blind via. I love that little leggy butt. People in Florida aren't exactly known for their quality driving. I mm. mean, people in Florida are known mm. for other things. I believe Orlando is on the list of worst traffic uh, cities in the United States. I could be wrong about that. Uh, Jen's on, yeah, defensive driving. That's the ticket. Flav, I get anxiety from driving, but now that I've had my brain surgery, I can't legally drive anyway. So I'll <gasps> take that as a win. Oh, no! Flav! Can't legally drive. And Jen says, yeah, help me be much more aware of wild drivers as there are many obstacles of L.A. Yes. Okay, here we go, Mr. Sharp. Mind meld. Dessert and so. Hmm. Dessert, Dessert and, and so. Uh, I have a word. I also have a word. Hang on, let me tie this here real quick. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 I've got a word. Ready? Okay. In three, two, two one. one. Cook. Ooh, I almost went bake. <laughs> oh, babe! We're so close. I thought I thought about bake. Okay, bake and cook. Bake and cook. I have a word. Um. I have two words. Okay, I, pick I the one I don't pick. I do have a word. Ready? Yeah. In three, three two, two, one, one prepare. prepare. Yeah. Oh! Did you think about heat? Thread that needle. I didn't think about heat, okay. babe. Those are the I two didn't I even think I'm like, about heat. Or prepare. Heat or prepare. Oh yeah! Thank you, friends. We still got it. Oh. Oh, we busted. Feels Lith. good. Oh no! Busted. Tim Didn't even save cab fare for the ride home. Busted. Ah, oh, it takes an hour to get out of Orlando. I'm that peanut. That's what I thought. Yeah, that it's. Uh, if that makes any sense, I mean, it does, and it doesn't. Snarled wreck. No! Where all roads lead to Disney. <laughs> the sharp stay married for one more stream. We got it. Whew. That was, Wiping that was, the sweat off my. It would have been an awkward rest of stream had we not. Uh, Mogro has also posted my is a RDR2 R2D2 uh, screenshots in Discord. Beautiful. And Mogi Thank Craft, you. I do not know what that means. I'm sure it's like art, yeah? I don't know what all of that is, yeah, but... Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, okay. Red Dead Redemption 2. Sense. I'm... See, we are um, old and out of touch, but thank you for, for keeping us young, good good buddies. Well, it's, a weird, it's a weird typo for R2-D2, but okay. <laughs> I-4 is a nightmare to drive on, Florida. Let's make it big! I mean, Mookie Craft is raging. I see what they're sort of trying to do there. Okay, look at this. Oh, is that this because because is... uh, we we cost you your bits? Oh yeah, people were heavily against us on that one. I, I didn't mean, see. Whoa! Look, it's all that's your fault. Whoa. That's your fault for voting against us. What can I say? We're incredible. No, no. Sometimes, sometimes we fail, and when we fail, you can usually win big, but. Muted Star says it takes an hour to get anywhere in Orlando. Yes, we are right in Disney, and no matter what, it's an hour drive. Oh, goodness gracious. You're in Disney? That's fun. I love it. Ah, both Ryoki and Flava. Hello, it's Dusky. a good, it's a good quote. Welcome to the balloon world. Susie Hughes says it looks good so far. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Uh, I gotta, I gotta cheat and glue that rim onto the flower pot, and I've gotta put the teeth on. Need some teeth. I'm that penis. Says, That's the truth. Disney traffic is a nightmare. I'll bet. Uh, so, I'll just bet. you know, in LA, you gotta kind of just ride the waves of traffic, knowing where it's going and when. Is that the same in Orlando? Like, is there like a, everybody heads to Disney in the morning, and then there's an exodus at night, or is it just kind of always a snarled mess? Snarf, snarf, Lionel. I don't know why <laughs> No, I see where you came yeah, from yeah. with that. Starfold says, Red Dead equals cowboys in your own time, which never gets old. Never gets old. Never gets old. Mortas says, LA travel is basically about an hour, regardless of distance. Yeah, yeah. 
Also, well, you you have to factor in like the apathy of LA residents about where they want to go because they're gonna like sit at home and talk about their anxiety for fifteen minutes before leaving. <laughs> it's true though. You know what? Who does not get? Who wait? Okay. You know who does get old? Cowboys. Cowboys get old. What are you sure. writing a country song? <laughs> Dusky, hi Dusky, hi the cowboys, Dusky. Beautiful, cowboys get old. The beautiful Dusky. Hyenas are just as guilty as Uncle Scar. <laughs> how come the, how come they don't become cow men? That's a really good question, Morber. I see this discussion on traffic, and I think about how for me uh, to just get forty-five, uh, just get forty-five minutes, I can take an hour and a half in the New York area. Yeah, no, New York is. Ugh. I, I used to live in San Diego, and then I'd try and drive up north uh, to yeah, to Ventura County, which is, you have to go through L.A. County, um, after work on a Friday. It's just the worst. Like, you just have to be prepared to be, I don't know, it takes like an hour to get like five miles. It's insane. So Mocha says, can I do a uh, Arthur Morgan impression? And uh, I looked him up. He's the the character from Red Dead Redemption. I have not ever oh. heard him talk, uh, so I'm going to assume that it's something like, I'm going to get on my horse, cowboys. I think it's going to be like, I'm going to get on my horse, cowboys. That's what it sounds like, yeah? Well, she said yes, close. I don't and know I which she's one talking she's to talking me. to. I think she's talking to me. Uh, well, I brought my guitar, and I'm off to see Mickey Mouse in the big castle in my truck. They won't let me take in my beer, so I'm going to Universal. Yeah. Oh, well, it, it was it was actually me that was close. Um, yeah, but like, well, I was bought I my also guitar, pretty close, and I'm off to see Mickey Mouse in the big castle in my truck. They won't let me take in my beer, so I'm going to Universal. Beautiful, beautiful. Flava feels attacked. Are you a cowboy? Flava, I'm sorry. Didn't know. I should have been a cowboy. Should you have? Should have learned to rope and ride. You have a toddler. That's something to wrangle. <laughs> Should have learned better lasso skills. Should have learned better lasso skills. That, that's what they don't tell you in the what to expect when you're expecting. Work on your rope tricks. Back in the day, I had to drive from Orange County to Culver Yikes. City for work every day and then back for school every night. What a fool you were, Lauren. Can this stream just take a total cowboy turn? Well, I don't see why not, Starfall. I mean, that would actually be really funny. We should do, we did a fancy stream. Why not do like a cowboy stream? That'd be pretty funny. I don't know. We're going to have to do another thing We do need to soon. do another, another, another um, community point redeem. Another theme stream. Yeah, because they're fun. I and Uncle we Scar haven't done says, one in a while. Uh, should become a cowboy, but I don't look good in plaid. I love it. This Imagine is a, cow a cowboy stream. A cowboy and alien stream. Amish. Imagine a cowboy ordering a Rudy Tootie Fresh and Fruity at IHOP. Buy me a Rudy Tootie Fresh and Fruity. Extra whipped cream. Make make mine with a little smiley face. I want to be a Pink. cowboy. You can be my cowgirl. Okay. Flavis says, I live in Texas. Remember, according to the world, That's we're true. all cowboys That's, here. That is true. That is true. Except for in Austin, when you're all Silicon Valley transplant hipsters. Of course I want boysenberry. That's from that Knott's Berry Farm. Did you know that boysenberry was invented by Knott's Berry Farm? Like, they... What? I didn't realize that. Yeah. No, I thought, like, what boysenberry was just, like, what? a type of berry. What and it is. This is not... But Knott's Berry Farm like created boysenberry. Like genetic engineering. I guess I don't know. Over time, like I the stopped, way we created like different breeds of dog. To I stopped looking into it after I learned the interesting fact. Okay. I was like, cool. I believe it. Well, it says in Dallas we're in oil. That's true. Well, I'm an oil man. I'm an oil man. Uh, oil man. Oil oiler. Yes, you can get boysenberry trees at Knott's during their boysenberry festivals. They miss my reasoning why they don't become cowmen. Sad times. I'm sorry, Emma Harg. Sometimes we miss it. Can somebody please just wear a five-gallon hat and it just be a five-gallon water jug? <laughs> we have some water jugs, Jen. We could probably make that happen. I don't know how we can get one of those on the head. Uh, I mean, a balloon. Balloons fix everything. Okay, so we've no, got No, we're some... not going to do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm picturing... Mr. Sharp is answering that no. in advance. Uh, I love you and no. Flavis says, uh, she saw it, Emma, and she laughed quite loudly. Oh, good. 
There you go. As long as it was appreciated by someone. And the hug is happy. Good. I'm happy for you. I, I, I feel like I'm sad that I missed it. Important question. What is the largest balloon hat I've ever made? Hmm. Is anyone here familiar with Beach Blanket Babylon? That's Wait, a good question. Is that what I'm thinking of? Hang on. Let me make sure that I know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you know, what are your thoughts on Slime Ranchers? I don't know it, but I have made um, Slime Ranchers versions of the Brave Little Toaster characters because that was a mashup request we got once, which was very fun. That's okay. my, the extent of my knowledge. I was correct. Yeah, Beach Blanket Babylon uh, is the Outrageous Hats like live review show in San Francisco. Oh, I have seen it. I've seen You've it. You've seen that? Yeah. We've both seen that show. We you, might have been at the same one. Oh, were you there? It's the one where they had the hats and they were big? Yeah, they were huge. Uh, it was really fun, actually. It was really great. Yeah, very silly. Very silly show. I loved that show. It Like the, the production values are, mwah, you know what I mean? Oh, great. I forgot what it was called. How can I forget a name like that? It seems like a really... I, I, I like psyched myself out. I'm like, is that or is that just like a B movie? You know, like a trauma right, like studio. It, it sounds like it could, thing. but no, it's it's yeah yeah yeah. When I saw, they had like a, a a Snow White kind of situation going on where there was like a character who was. I think that they changed the the plot every once in a while. Like they reuse some yeah. of the, the hats and the yeah, costumes exactly. and stuff, but they it's, change the plot. Yeah, it's more like a musical review, review where there's yeah, not exactly. like not like much of a linear thread. Yeah, but it was it was so much fun. I saw it. At, we were at a balloon convention. Uh, um, uh, I'm gonna tell you this, and please don't get me killed. It was uh, a secret meeting of the Illuminati. Oh no! Don't don't tell them. Don't tell them. They're always listening. It's okay. There's only 91 people. They're here. always listening. Well, bye, bad. Bye, bye, bad. Cowboys don't become cowmen because they're always horsing around. Oh, boy. Ah, that's oh, boy. right. I get it. Thank you. Thank you, Flavor, for posting the MR. Bad is going back to building their base, which, interestingly enough, is kind of what we're doing too, huh? Oh, we are. Yeah little bit. Yo, she's trying. She's doing her best. Flavors <laughs> throw out that the link for good, Norm McDonald as big, Turd Ferguson. It's a big balloon hat that I made. Although it's pretty more like a big by big, and see, he's in the slideshow, I want to say. Uh, it's large by um, like relative size. Yeah, it's, uh, it's funny because it's, uh, it's a big hat. Big hat. Pretty large hat. Pretty large. Okay. Oh no, the balloon. Is that the only character that Norm Macdonald played on Saturday Night Live? Muted star, you can't be the only one who got the trauma reference. Right? I mean, maybe. Maybe you are. And then that one was for you, friend. Water. You want water? Better go dunk your head in the horse trough out there. In this stream, we pour whiskey. Uh, anyone get the, get the reference? I'm going to say that is a uh, reference to Coyote Ugly. Oh! And also... I really resent that part of that movie because it's a really bad policy. I might not be a Coyote Ugly reference, in which case I'm outing myself as a person who's seen Coyote seen Ugly. Coyote Ugly! Uh, <laughs> back to the Future 2. Oh. Or wait, okay. no, Back to the Future 3. 3, 3, where they go back the old to West the, uh, yeah, the old yeah, West yeah. one. With Mary Steenburgen. I like that one. She's, like, made a career for herself. It's like, if you need, like, a, a nice long-suffering like mom or wife character it's now mary steen virgin well because she does she does that so well she has like a sweet face you know she 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 looks loving and patient yeah she looks like she's put up with some stuff she looks like she's put up with some stuff she's married to ted danson she's put up with some shenanigans norm mcdonald played norm mcdonald dressed as other people exactly 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 Flava. exactly Yup, three, three. I'm a, I'm a different character. Yeah, see, Coyote a, Ugly is not something I've thought about in like 10 years. Starfold, you're welcome. You're welcome. So what I'm talking about with Coyote Ugly, wait, Ms. Cupcake? Hang on, wait, hang what? on, there's a Ms. Cupcake? Where? Just joined us. I did, oh, wait, what? A new followers, Ms. Ms. Cupcake. so five. Hello, Ms. but Ms. 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 Cupcake. Cupcake. That's like, like Cupcake's sister. Maybe. Hi, Ms. Cupcake. Sorry to like put you Who, on the spot here. For whatever reason, I've decided as a lawyer. A high, <laughs> a high... I like it. High-powered lawyer. Speaking of best movie, well, <laughs> Mother's watching Catherine O'Hara and Eugene Levy in a show that's amazing. Well, you're obviously watching Shit's Creek, and you're right, it's amazing. It is amazing. Catherine O'Hara's just a... I, I don't even I don't have a good superlative for Catherine O'Hara in that show. Ooh, kimchi. There's fellow cupcakes in here? It's true cupcake. Ms. Cupcakes, there's another cupcake. Another cupcake. 
Mocha Rose says, I got kimchi. Home cooked, do you or chat want some I made too much? I yeah, do. we always I want do. kimchi. I love kimchi. It's yum. I can't one handle thing, it too spicy because I'm a wuss. That's one thing I think Korean cuisine got right is that, like, what meal would not go better with a little side of kimchi? You know, whatever you ordered. Have a little side of kimchi. Why not? How can be? These cupcakes are out of control. I hear Ms. Cupcake is a very good lawyer, but she comes across as quite frosting. <laughs> Kimchi, yes, please. Popcorn music wants some. Okay, we can do this now. I'm doing the thing, the weird thing. Mocha, let me ask you this. How spicy is your kimchi? How spicy is it? How spicy is your kimchi? That sounds like a song right? I just that I just sang. <laughs> Why? You know, it turns know. out that if you sing it, it sounds a lot it like sounds, a song. Yeah, if you sing it, it sounds like a song. It's not too spicy, but a little. Okay, that, that I can handle. I can handle a little. Because Porter actually likes kimchi if it's not super duper spicy. Yeah. I like the flavor of fermented vegetables, but not. <laughs> Popcorn says like it's a cheer from culinary school. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, you know, when the culinary schools have the big cook off and they have the cheerleaders on the side that are like pumping How up the contestants. How spicy is your kimchi? Struffled, but what about a side of cupcakes? <gasps> like kimchi, I think a side of cupcakes goes with almost any meal. Just about everything. I like cupcakes. How funky is your chicken? How spicy is your kimchi? Exactly. Exactly. Thank you. You get me. <laughs> Popcorn. How spicy is your kimchi? How brown is your butter? Yeah! <laughs> I'm like picturing it too clearly at this point. Exactly. Okenby oh, says the side of cupcakes. By the way, hello, Okenby. Hey, Okenby. Uh, the side of cupcakes is the worst part. No frosting on the sides as they're paper flavored. No, that is true. The, the side of cupcakes is the worst part. Okay, I can do this. I'm trying to just, I should have. Do you, do you have that, do you ever do that thing where you're like, oh, I should have put this around it before I attached it, but now I got to stretch it and squeeze it. Yeah, I'm doing that right now. How spicy is the kimchi? Or how spicy is the kimchi? A burn you will regret. Take a bite and watch it go. Flame and fire explode. What? Yes. How funky is your chicken? Is the cheer from the Buffy the Vampire Slayer movie? Oh, yeah. Our goose is totally loose. And also, like, a lot of, like, high school football games and things. But I will say this. I really like that movie. It was a good movie. It's a fun little movie. And the pom-poms are real cotton candy. That's funny, Papa. Yeah. Okay, all right. I, sorry, my flower pot popped. You ever have that happen to you? And you're like, flower pot like pops? Oh my gosh. Whoa. All Pain. the never. <laughs> Pain, my friends. Pain. Eyes, what? Get out of here. Get out of here. There are spots, and I'll put the spots on you. Uh, since Oak and B is here, let's go ahead and uh, sh shout her out. I don't know why I'm shout saying that. It's like three characters I can shout do that. Shout her out. Jeez. Okay, I'm gonna glue this on. Hmm, did I not do that right? I thought it was, I thought it was bang so. Yeah, but you gotta put someone's name, right? Oh. You can't just, you can't just shout out for- Oh, shout, shouting out. Shout out to sh Hey, this one goes out to shout. Ooh, spoke too soon. You made a typo. I mean, we, we often make typos. I don't know who you're talking to, but... There it is. Bibbity bobbity boop The balloon explodes. Oh, boo. I mean, you know, sometimes. How funky is your chicken? How loose is your goose? Some, so come on, all you Hawk fans, and shake your caboose. Yeah. And shake your caboose. And shake your caboose. Yep, yep. I'm a... See, uh, Mocha Rosie, I am also a professional dancer. <laughs> it starts as, it's insanely bizarre that we've all been talking this whole time and even nonchalantly making an entire balloon pir piranha plant. Welcome to the appeal like of the stream. Like it's not even a thing. <laughs> yep. Yup. That's the thing. That's the thing that we do. Feed me, Seymour, some kimchi. Or humans, please. Humans with a side of kimchi. Oh. I think one of the reasons that uh, kimchi is such a popular side is because it's fermented, which is technically uh, good for the the gut biome, the, the inside bacteria. Give me that good stuff. 
These balloons we can't live without. Come on! It's true. We, look, we need we need these balloons. Needs the balloons. Look, I mean, like we're charming and all, but if I wasn't making balloons, you wouldn't be here, right? <laughs> look. Shout, shout, shout or stream out. Games are the things that we're talking about. Come, Come on. on! I'm shouting out you. Come on! I I'm made cookies! How they come out, RC? It doesn't work. Wait, it didn't work! Cookies basically the same shape as the dough that went in the oven, but it tastes good! So I'll accept them. Taste is one of my favorite things about cookies. Miss Cupcake says, have you ever cried over a balloon that you were making that ended up popping? No. I mean, I've cried. I think you gotta get used to the mutability of balloons if you're gonna be a. Yeah, look, be I've been doing this for 16 years. At some point, you need to make peace with the fact that even the most beautiful sculptures are only gonna last two weeks tops. So, like, if it lasts. Yeah, it pops halfway through, like, I've, like, gone, ah! You know, I've, I definitely will, will be, like, upset. But, you know. I've seen you, cry. I've seen you, like, frustrated. Yeah. You know, like, ah, that's a lot of work down the. But never. You know, I don't think I've ever seen like really lose Look a at balloon this dope that like thing. ruined a sculpture. Yeah, no, it's never, and it never really puts me in a bad mood either, because it's like what? There's not really a time limit here, you know? Like we're gonna be making balloons no matter what, because like that's what we do here. So, yeah, no, I like you gotta you gotta make yourself. Yeah, plus photos eternal. You're right, Oakenby. It, it does bum me out when something pops before I get a photo of it. I guess. Sorry, for mutability. You know, the transitory nature of them. And that's the why I love finite you. finite lifespan. Love you too, Peanut. Uh, are you adding the piranha plant's legs? <laughs> what? I mean, we've never seen the bottom of a piranha plant. Never seen the bottom. I picture them as like a, like kind of a trog door down there with like, just like one beefy one leg. One beefy leg. Some consummate just down, Just down the, uh, down the tube. This is when the piranha plant is like, actually, we have lovely gams, and they all start a kick line. Yes. Yeah. Like the, um, like the, look at what I have here. <laughs> it's a major award. Look at this. Look at the, um, the deflated lampshade from the leg lamp from a Christmas story. <laughs> now check out them gams. Oh, I love it. I did <laughs> not draw. Those gams have uh, looked better. They uh, have. They, this is after mom knocks it off the shelf while she's cleaning. RC says, I work in software. One of the first tips I was given was don't become attached to your code. Yeah. Be willing to delete code. Yeah. And it's very important. So much time has been lost on someone, myself included, trying to talk someone out of deleting your own code. I think that this is true whatever your like artistic medium is. As a writer, this is one of the strongest pieces of advice I can give to any writer is be willing to delete stuff. Cut it down. Every time we make a Homestar Runner reference, Wurlitz sheds a single tear. Is it because you miss it, Wurlitz, or is it because our jokes are so bad? Is it for Flash? It's for Flash, isn't it? Whoa. Feed me, Seymour. Feed me all night long. Because if you feed me, Seymour, I can grow up big and strong. Oh, my goodness. Are Would you, you like a Cadillac car? Or a guest shot on Jack Parr. That's like several Tonight Show hosts ago. Yeah. How about a date with Hedy Lamar? You're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. I know it's a song. I didn't sing it, but I kind of did the voice. I done strong, bad, dirty. No, did I? I didn't mean to. Mormons. Chicken. Mor Mormons hey. Picturing weird Kermit stuff. You like it? Yeah. Oh man, I keep almost sneezing. You salute the major award. <sighs> Shane was in fun. She'd be a ghoul in a vault filled with balloon NPCs. Yeah. Also, we did uh, False Boy at one point. Yeah, we did. Oh, man. I'm going to sneeze. i got to put down this plant so I can sneeze properly. What's happening, Chimpkins? Chimpkins! Chimpkins and the chickens! Bless you, bless you, bless you. Mocha Rose, gotta go rule the dance floor oh, at the yeah. studio. Yeah, go break in that new studio. Break it in, break it in, girl! Hogan B says, I think Vault Boy is in the slideshow. That is uh, very Achoo. reasonable. Oh, Robert says, Shane, allergic to piranha Achoo. plants confirmed. Yep. Turns out. I can I can give you a decongestion if you like. No, Probably okay. won't kick in until the it's stream not, is I'm ending, not, but. I don't feel stuffy, I just feel sneezy, you know what I mean? Sure. Like, I'm not. I can you, breathe I think that's my like nose. two out of seven dwarves. <laughs> And when your uh, olfactory system is in shape for it, we got a chicken. Oh. 
Oh my, it's got to clear out the pipes for the chicken serenade. All right, good buddies. Morbert misses dancing. Oh. Morbert, what kind of dancer are you? Are you just like, like going, out, out, going out to clubs, partying? Or club? do you, uh, I'm not. Look have, at you, my eyes. have you been trained? So, my eyes are watery now because I didn't see anything. Okay. Oakenby says, I, have a, I too have a weird re allergy to piranha plants. I get a weird reaction where I start bleeding out of any part they touch. Super weird. Okay. I have this weird reaction to piranha plants that uh, when I touch them, if I'm big, I immediately turn small again. And if I touch them when I'm small, it just kills me. Not a clever. Oh, it make, yeah, I get that. I get that. How many times have you died, Mr. Sharp? Ryoki, I did do that video, yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, here, let me drink a little tea here. Morbid says, not a clever. What kind of dancing Bless do you do, ten, ten blessings. Chicken serenade gives you... Vo oh, chicken wonderful. serenade is here definitely we go. a vibe. <clears throat> Friends. A chicken is going to sing a song for you. The only way to get the chicken to stop singing is to accurately guess the song that the chicken is singing. And there is no prize. There's a theme today, but this is our first chicken serenade. So Robert's a swing dancer. <gasps> also blues and a handful of bottom stars. What? That's like that. fun, Morbert. Okay, like okay. That, <clears throat> Here we go. Incredible. That might be the most modern chicken, chicken song serenade? we've done. I mean, it might be. As in, like, it came it out in, like, 2020, be. probably. I don't know when it came out, honestly. Probably 2020, 2021, something like that. Ugh, I'm so sneezy. Whenever Lady Gaga's most recent album came out. Was it most recent? It's uh, Gaga and uh, Ariana Grande. Grande. Gaga and Grande. Gaga X Grande. Hello, not, Madame Eileen. Not Ariana Venti. I see what you did there, and I disapprove. I'm trying to think of like a like a particularly tall pop star. Lady Gaga. Gaga. I mean, Lady Gaga is kind of Ariana Venti. Ooh, Potato didn't know that one. I mean, yeah, I see that. I see that. Ariana Tall is even shorter, I which know. is confusing. Irony. Irony. Confusing. Okay. I just have to draw on the spots on this thing. Right? Yeah, I would love to hear like the Starbucks executives explain why tall is the smallest one. Well, well we technically, to... you can get a short. It's just not on the menu. Too short. It's it's like the secret menu from like In and Out. See, doggity, See, six doggity. months already. It's so weird because like I feel like I be about half of the resub notifications I get. People are like, "Has it been that long already?" And half of them I get, people are like, "It feels like so much longer." And like, I feel like you can make an argument in both directions because Sea Dog and I feel like I've seen your name like since all of since all of the stream that we've been doing. But also, yeah, time flies and also stays still and also goes really slow. What's up with that? Punish Walrus's Fourth slash dimension. is like seven feet tall with his hat. Thank you, Sea Dog. That's like a support. that's like an Ariana. Time is a weird soup. It is, but I'll have more of that. Is, is there one above a venti? No, there isn't, is there? Is venti the biggest they have? Venti's, I think venti. Oh, no, I think you can get a trente. I don't know. Maybe Trente? I don't know. Yikes. Am I making that up? I don't it's know. It's like how you can order a half and half at in and out just get a semi-patty resting on the bottom bun only. <laughs> Time half is a half. weird soup. Yeah. I like that. A it's weird soup. It's a good soup. sentence. It is. It is good, buddies. All right, here we go. 
Criminal Apple says, I've been around since the Crowdcast days when you did like three balloons an hour. Oh my God, can you believe, can you imagine that? Those of you who, who've only known me on Twitch, which is like the vast majority of you, can you imagine a, oh, a Shayna stream where she got three balloons done in an hour and then was like, peace. That's what we used to do over on Crowdcast. So Silent says, have you ever been moved to tears by someone's reaction to your balloon work? Oh. Um, that would have to be in person. Right, I'm thinking like a, a convention or something would be like a place for that maybe. Mm. But you don't tend to do a ton of like massive sculptures at the conventions. I mean, more. I, you know, I've done a few, I've done a few balloons at like, Memorial at, things, um, maybe? No, I haven't done a lot of memorial balloons, but I've done some balloons at, like, some assisted living facilities. And I won't, like, I definitely don't, like, cry there. But I've definitely, like, had some moments, like, afterward sure. where I'm like, all right, that was, like, yeah. you know? Sometimes bringing the joy, joy is, like, is so a heavy pure. responsibility. Yeah, and, like... It's uh yeah that's that's definitely where I, where I'm like whoa all right cool stuff man cool stuff I'm that penis says if you trip with spices in your hands is it falling on bad time ah let me see what you did there I see maniac I had coworkers from Germany can probably expect this but they like sauerkraut another fermented dish when they visited us we had a Korean restaurant nearby the daily went there so they could get kimchi. We can't get this around us. We have German Italian and German Indian and everything else in one plus hours away. It just tastes so good. Like a different kind of sauerkraut. Yeah, spicy sauerkraut. Spicy sauerkraut. I love. I'm speaking, so, I, speaking of which, uh, sauerkraut dog, good dog, kimchi dog, excellent dog. Kimchi dog, yum. Okay, because you gotta watch out for those evil spices. Parsley cannot be trusted, for example. Really? Thank you, Popcorn. Do this, my, my pen needs to be reactivated here. Were we, where, wait, where are we crying? We're not crying anymore. Hey, Ender49, I saw it right before it scrolled up the top. Hi, Matt Bob. We not crying. Yeah, Klaus, who sounds like the pig from Shrek. You sound like the, the, uh, the pig from Sing, too. What's up with that? What are all the? Why does everyone think pigs have German accents? When we read uh, story Fine. stories to uh, um, Porter, the pigs have French accents. Ink. Ink. Is there a rim in that for me? I'm cold. I'm cold and, and wet, wet as, as I, I can, can be. be. That's from uh, Good Night Little Blue Track. Popcorn says yes. The pig from Sing. Well, what one of the pigs from Sing? The other one. Sure. Is the other one is just Reese like Witherspoon. A, yeah, it's like a white lady pig. Ink. Good spelling, okay. Ink. Ink. And you, L ink. As always with French pronunciation, what you try to do is move your lips as little as possible. You just do like one corner of the mouth when you say ink. But I am littered. All right. I think we've done it, friends. I'm that peanut. Uh, we have not Sing Sing 2 yet, but uh, it is on Amazon finally. And so it is only a matter of time. Look at this. We made a piranha plant. There's not like a piranha plant song from Mario. They just like, just the normal. So there's a restaurant chain my family likes to visit on the way uh, to visit family in Maine called 110 Grill. Uh, they have pulled pork, mac and cheese, and has uh, onion rings on it. Whoa. I didn't expect them to go so Whoa. well with mac and cheese. Very I mean, I mean, now that you now and that you mention it, it actually does sound like it would be pretty and here in, uh, good. And here in LA, we only have the 101 Grill. Nah, it's true. Not 110. Woo! No, they oh, don't have friends. a grill. Oh, yes. The, uh, the new poll is up right now. What kind of balloon should I make next? What should I make next? Tell me I'm great at balloons and bad at decisions. I love Uncle Scar says, oh my God, Matt please Bob. vote for Limu, Emu, and Doug. Map up, thank you for the 300 bits. I have 300 pieces Professor of confetti for Matt Bob. 
my bad. Oh, get Bits? that boy off that bus. Cupcake. Cupcake, everything got like, just leave him on. RC wants Ori. Just be like another, t another time around the block, please, Jeeves. I can't believe Ori's on the pole this time, RC. That's pretty cool. You knocked that one out pretty quick. That's pretty cool. You know, given that we got like 20 minutes uh, messing around up top, you did that in about an hour. Hey, what? That's like maybe a record here. Flav was like, oh my gosh, I've got to get a, a pole up? I mean, but it's it, only 220. I think it's impressive because like it's fairly large, you know, so it looks like Sometimes it. larger ones go faster because well, yeah, it's all the little balloons, detail yeah. work that really gets me tripped up. This is probably the third or fourth time it's been on the pole and then someone throws bits oh, at man. something. Placing your thumb on the scale of democracy, how dare you? I mean, you're allowed to do that because the bits go to me, so, you know, I don't want to dissuade anyone from giving me money. It's capitalism. It's uh, democracy, but it's still capitalism. Professor, this is I, had, I had noticed that. Oh, did you, Mad Bob? As Ogenby um, points out, we're democratish. Democraticish. Just like America. Democratish. Larger ones go faster. Oh, really? Not always. I'll say not always, but but sometimes. If Ori wins, wait, I didn't even read that. Scrolled up too fast. Uh, if Ori wins, I'll play it this afternoon. This is Ooh, Morbid. fun, okay. fun. Morbid, you're, uh, you're going to do a little stream this afternoon? Cool, cool. I'm just personally raving about a certain recipe. Personally raving. Yes, yes. A certain cornbread recipe. I don't remember that. Nah, don't worry about it. I'm not familiar with my with Mr. Sharp's sci-fi. Professor Matt Bob, I had to retire that bit because another comedian started doing almost the exact same bit and he's much oh, more famous than me. I I get you. The cornbread recipe, I understand. Uh, I think I Matt might Bob, do you know just... do you know Kurt Brownoller? Uh he's very funny. Like it's one of those things where like you're kind of mad because it's like, oh man, that's basically my bit. I don't to be clear, I do not think Kurt Brownoller stole my bit. Ooh. I think it's parallel thinking. I like RC Maniac saying if Ori wins, I don't expect it to be a difficult balloon to make, and it means another balloon can probably be made. I look at you. You're not like you're campaigning for it, but like not like, come on, come on. You're like, hey, here's a reason why we, we might see more balloons. No promises. I like that. Flava says if Ori doesn't win, she'll still play it this afternoon. Oh, yeah, you do know him. Nice. Vote for Ori. It's kind of like voting for a mulligan. Oh, can be. Also, we'll get a cute balloon out of it, but Ori's a very flowy creature. Mm. And from a great game. What was it again? Something about a forest? A silent one? Oh, right. What is it, Did Ori? we, uh, Ori in the Silent Forest, I think? Didn't we stop Blind in on... Blind Forest. Um, Blind Forest. Stopped in on Cowboy... Cardboard Cowboy playing that one time, if I believe. Did we? We ra yeah, we raided into the CBC, and that's what he was saying. Sounds doing. sounds about right. Oh, but a panther from Star Wars is Ooh, super cute, Star says Flava. But Morbid says, "OMG, the Ori story is so cute and sad." The story, you mean? Corrects Oakenby. I love it. Oh, Blind Forest <laughs> is the first game. Oh, okay. there's more games. There's more. My. <sighs> uh, you guys, I think we just got divorced. <sighs> it's not legal yet, but it happened in our brain. I saw it. <laughs> No, babe. Hey, Frag! How's it going? Frag a lot. Down with Frag a lot. Down, Down with Frag, frag a lot. lot. Uh, do not tie it. Uncle Scar does Ooh. not want it tied. This is an interesting question that I don't think uh, you've gotten before. the most balloons I've made in one day? Oh, like, I, I have an answer, but you, you give your answer and then I'll, I'll, I'll give mine. So, like, on stream? No. You mean just like... Yeah. Ugh. I want to say. Tell you, I'll give. I'll give my answer. What's your you answer? About it. What's your answer? Uh, when you did making it. Well, but yeah, but that was just like blowing up. That was making a, a garland. So that's not like. But making... you made tons of them, and like in all different colors, and like that day I remember was just like a crazy. It's yeah, like but a, it was like one a... garland with a bunch of round balloons. Combo so if we're talking marathon, I get. I totally get what you're talking about. And any decor job, you, absolutely, you tie. We're making a bantha with a Tuscan Raider. So close. So. But it happened. Bantha with a Tuscan Raider. Okay. Let me. Let me.